I'm going to take you to a place that is a hidden gem for outdoorsmen. A place that is too far for most and too harsh for the unready. But if you're feeling up for an adventure, it's not fishing you'll be doing, but catching. Just an absolute unit. Oh. It's wildlife will excite you, it's isolation will soothe you, and if you can stand the mosquitoes, you'll be begging to come back again and again. Welcome to the Northwoods on Rainy Lake. God, he fights so hard. Love him so much. Woo! Oh gosh. He felt like a, a rock. Welcome to Canada, boys. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at all the crawfish he's spitting up. It looks like red lobster over here. Oh my gosh. We have been smashing smallmouth in the first 24 hours on Rainy Lake. And two lures you absolutely need to have tied on if you go up there in June are a topwater popper and a tube. And you'll notice tons of smallmouth that you catch just spewing out crawfish. And I quickly want to share with you the tube that I used while I was up there and how to rig it to get snagged way less when you're fishing around these rocks. And if you guys want to pick up some gear like some dupe tubes or any of our other awesome plastics, terminal tackle, etc., googlesquad.com, link down below. You can use my promo code LFG and save 10% at checkout. So with most jig heads on tubes, what you want to do is rig the bait first before you tie your line onto that jig head. You're going to take your hook point and you're going to go up through the tube and you want to get about a quarter inch from the top and then bring that hook point out. Once that hook points out, you want to push that jig head up towards the top and you want to twist it around. Then you want to feel for that line tie and go ahead and push it up through the plastic. Now come up both sides of the tube and expose the hook point on top of the tube. Fishing this around rocks and boulders represents crawfish really well and rigging it this way will prevent you from getting snagged nearly as much as a straight jig head with the hook exposed. And in my opinion, the four best baits to have tied on for Rainy Lake in June are going to be a tube, a hair jig, a jerk bait, and a popper. But I just so happen to have a new prototype bait that is a realistic, lifelike looking craw that is a harness setup and it looks awesome in the water. So I wanted to try this on these smallmouth and see if they will slurp this thing. Let me show you guys this bait. So this is this is the scuttle bug right here. So it, this is early production and sample. So I have this one right here, which has the harness in it, has the hook. This is sort of like a, a swim bait harness. So it's a line through. Oh, dad's got a fish on back there. This is just a color sample, which looks amazing right here. It doesn't have the harness in. So I can't, I, I can't rig this one correctly. Oh, it's starting to rain, pretty good. Okay, we'll take a brief break here, my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that looks nice. I like that. Pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy, but I like it. Pike. Snake. Snake on the scuttlebug. Small mouth on the fur burger. 
All right, first capture on the on the bug here. Slime in the boat. Oh, oh. snake on the loose. You going in the box? Uh, that was pretty cool. Got the thump, stuck him. Thrashed your line. Yep, thrashed my line a little bit. That's okay. Didn't go for <laughs> I like it. I like the moxie. Gumption. Oh, I lost him. I had two right there. Now, June is just a phenomenal time to come up and fish for smallmouth on rainy. And really you have the two stages of spawn going on. You have the spawn itself, and then you have post spawn. So there's fish that are in protected bays that are in these rocks and boulders. And then they're just starting to come out to the points and feed on crawfish and other bait fish. And the funnest part about this is you don't need any advanced electronics or anything. You literally just need a trolling motor that works and a boat and just go down the bank. And most of these fish are going to be in two to six feet of water. Just scan the banks and look for rocky crags, boulder groups, and even just rock groups are at about melon size. And you may not see the smallmouth, but I can tell you they're in there. Big one. Huh? Big one trying to eat it. Really? Yeah. Scuttlebug on the scuddy. Dad, are you hooked up? Whoa, look at these dual toads here. Ah, three toad duo. Very nice. Look at that. Perfectly hooked on the bug. And the saucy. Or snacky. Oh, this is picture worthy. Very cool. Letting them all free go right here. Make more babies. The triple bronze back. <laughs> That's awesome. Clobber city. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, like one with it. Really? Yeah, it's a big one. You got a big one? Yeah, that's a crawfish coming out of its mouth. He ate it. Oh my gosh, dude. Just couldn't. <sighs> couldn't get it. So what I found with the scuttlebug lifelike craw is that they would actually hit it on the swim really well too, rather than a, a tube kind of have to crawl it down there a little bit and they definitely will inhale a tube better but this lifelike craw they just have to come grab it but a lot of the fish that you know they're in the two pound range even the three pound range they had a hard time getting it in their their face fully you really had to let them grab onto it but a four pounder no problem in that bed Come, he was coming after your bait. That was, that's crazy. That's a good one. He was literally swimming after your bait. Really? 
like 10 feet away. That's oh, gone. Got Bogger. Oh, through my hook. Oh, big. Oh, oh God. God. How we do? Come here, scuttle, scuttle bugger! Woo! Look at that, guys! Single hook coming out of the body. This isn't even the juice color. It's pretty fun. Boop! Goes right back in. Buddies. Oh, that is cool. Beautiful fish. I like how easy this bait is to just throw back together and throw again. There he is. One better one. Oh, that was cool. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Get in here, buddy. Yes. There's a nice scuttle bugger. That is so cool. Even these little smallmouth can grab it. Just takes them a second. Look at that, look at that bait just. Look at that, that hook just pops right back in there. That fish is ready to go. He's ready to swim away. Let's see, buddy. Trey's on. Nice fish. Loopy beat down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. Scuttlebug still holding up, boys. Refuses to retire. It, it is not retiring. Got quite a few on this thing, including Pike. Oh, just got that again. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing jacked it. There's a fish right here by this rock. And he's got it? No? Let me try. He's got it. Swimming with it. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. What a crafty little joker, man. Oh, so this bait, you can swim it or fish it like a jig. The weight is down here in the bottom. So when you throw it out, you can just slowly let it sink down or you can swim it like a swim bait, like a swimming craw. Oh, 
<laughs> There's another one right here. This was like hit, I and mean, he's not small. That's you, not small. Oh god, look at that crawfish you just spilled. Oh my gosh. Look at it, it's on the bump board. Whoa. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Okay. The smallmouth just spit this up, okay? Look at this. Look at that. Oh, man. That is like the perfect color match. That is awesome. This is crazy. He's all nice and soft now. See the bed from here. Oh. Got him. That, that was, was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Jarked it. Third attempt. Oh, we came off. Just barely getting it. God, dude. I mean, just sat on it. Oh yeah, bud. Scuttle bud. Bear. Yeah. Barely got him. Nice fish. Eating crawls. Small jaws eating crawls. God, dude, that's a nice one. That's that's on the upper echelon for up here. Oh my gosh. Oh, he came off. Probably gonna get a double here in a second. It's it is the deal right here. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I mean, they're just, they're all up in here. Got a frothy one too. There it is. Oh my gosh, dude, yours is like a 20 incher. That's fantastic. Now the smallmouth bass fishing up here is just phenomenal. And the reason is, and it is a quandary to me, is that hardly anyone fishes for them. The first year I came to Rainy Lake, I think it was 98% walleye fishermen and maybe 2% smallmouth fishermen. And now possibly it's 95 to 90% walleye fishermen, 5 to 10% bass fishermen. They protect this lake with spawning sanctuaries that don't open until mid to later June. And there's an abundance of forage that just makes this lake a smallmouth haven. Now you're not gonna catch any giants. If you're lucky, you may get a few fish in the five pound range, but you'll catch and catch and catch and catch and catch three pounders until your arms fall off. And I can't think of a better place to do some product testing than right here on these smallmouth. And I think if I would have had a harness sample of the actual craw color, obviously it would have been 
silly. And it survived a lot of bronze backstrikes and even a few pike bites. So I'm excited to keep developing this bait because I think it's going to be a great clear water bass catcher when they're on that crawfish pattern. And I have a lot more to show you guys from Possum Lodge, Rainy Lake, and the Northwoods. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon.